uh, Canvas if you'd like to download it there. It's called Mars. Um, you can click on the link and it'll take you to the website. I've also made it available here, the, the latest version of the software, if you want to just go ahead and get it from Canvas or directly, just to give you an idea what their website looks like. Um, this is a project that was developed by Missouri State, and it actually is um, pretty useful for what we're trying to, to demonstrate with this class. I'm doing it on a Mac. It works. I've demonstrated that it works on a PC just as well as a Mac. You're going to have to make sure that you download Java, the most current version. This works with the most current version of, of Java. It's something called a jar file, which is an executable. And I've got to set it up on my Mac, so if I just double click on it, it'll open up. We'll be using this. It's an interesting integrated development environment where you can start to um, pretend like you have a processor um, that's um, the way that you would like to configure it and um, then we can start to play out um, having what, what happens with, with that environment here. So let me go ahead and open up a sample program. So these are a, a couple of different programs that I got from a few different sources. If you've ever heard of um, Fibonacci numbers this one calculates those numbers, um, the first handful of those, and so it's a nice sample program that I can demonstrate Mars working on the desktop. So I want to have students do three different programs. There, you guys are welcome to leverage something that's already existing to, to give you some ideas, but I definitely want to see some new development from you and if you do reference something make sure that you give credit where credits due. So the first thing you have to do in this inter, um, IDE is load the program which I have and then if you want to execute it you have to do what's called assemble and then it's loaded into the the memory and if you then want to see it execute you just pull push the the executor play button and down here in the bottom you can see the Fibonacci numbers that are, are generated. So that's enough for our tutorial here. Just want to show you how to get this program up and running and give you a little bit.